Oh well, my brother. I'm gonna keep singing that line. Oh well, my brother can boogie. <laughs> Get it together. P nine oh four stroke seven. Part one, take one. together and it's really great to have you back with us again this week. What's the lineup, Linda? Well, we've got Eddie and the Hot Rods, we've got a new group called Badger and we've got David Dundas. But right now, we're going to kick off with one minute of our Get It Together pop quiz and as usual, it's boys versus girls and the winners at the end will come over to this album rack and choose one of these great albums we've got here. I rather fancy that one myself. Anyway, let's not waste any more time. Linda's going to ask the first question. There's one minute on the clock starting from now. Right, Susan, what do the carpenters have in common? I don't know. <laughs> Brother and sister. Tony, are the Bellamy brothers really brothers? No. Yes, they are. That's your point. <laughs> Diane, are James and Bobby Purify brothers? Yeah. No, oh, they're cousins. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, which TV show is hosted by Kermit the Frog? Muppets. What? Great, score a point. Who's the last singer with the group Amen Corner? I don't know. Andy Fairweather Love. Philip. Who in the current top ten wants to be free? Mm -hmm. It's Denise Williams. Elaine, finish off the name of this group. Backman, Turner, I don't know. Overdrive. Simon, come on, see if you can go ahead. Who is Tina Hoskins, better known as? I don't know. Oh, it's Tina Charles. Sharon, true or false, going to capture your heart is a hit for Deep Purple. False. That's right, it's a hit for Blue, so score a point. <laughs> Complete the name of the group. Gladys Knight and the... <laughs> It's the Pips. All right, and that's the end of the first session. And the scores are level at one point all. But it's first guest time now, and I'm going biding my time with Badger.
Badger and good luck with your very first single. I think it's really catchy. Right now, Badger have brought us up to quiz time again, and this time I want the two teams to write down as many pop words as they can think of, beginning with the letter M. Now, the way we're going to score is if you get five words right, under five words right, you get one point. Between five and ten words, you get two points, and over ten words, you get three points. Now, I also want to remind you, you don't just have to write the names of singers. You can write down, um, we can have record labels or even song titles or just M for music. I'll give you that one for free. One minute starting from now. The boys have got eight. They've got Microphone, Martha Reeves, Mud, Marvin Gaye, Music, Mike Moran, Marmalade and Muppets. So eight, they get two points. And the girls have got Music, Mark Berlin, <laughs> Mud, Music Express, Melody Maker, Mike Moran and the Muppets. They've got seven, so they get two points as well. <laughs> so the scores are level at three points each still. We're going to take a break in a minute. Um, if you've got something to do, look sharp. Join us after the break, but before you go for your break, join Linda, who's going to sing Mamma Mia. <laughs>
get it together, P904-7, part two, take one. Welcome back, and let's have a look at the two silly jokes that we picked out this week. And here's the first one coming up. I say, I say, I say. What happened to the cat who swallowed a ball of wool? I don't know. What happened to the cat who swallowed a ball of wool? She had mittens. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and the next one. And the next. I say, I say, I say. What are the best things to put into a cake? I don't know. What are the best things to put into a cake? Your teeth. <laughs> Right, and those jokes were sent in by Jane Garrett of Stoke-on-Trent and Sheila Watson of York. And we'll be sending album tokens in the post for you. Thanks very much for sending your silly jokes in. But there's nothing silly about our next guest. It's Eddie and the Hot Rods! <laughs> came up here but it was really worth it really exciting Eddie and the hot rods and I might be lying now I might be lying if I said the girls were winning in the quiz because they're not the scores are level let's see if one of the teams can go ahead we've got one minute starting from now and it's we're starting with a boy Mervyn Eddie and the hot rods sing I might be lying or I might be sleeping which one lying right I might be lying score a point. Sandra <laughs> what instrument does Lindsay DePaul play on rock bottom piano that's it score a point yeah. 
Richard, come on. Bernie Flint got his break on TV on a TV talent show. Was it on Opportunity Knocks or New Faces? Opportunity Knocks. Great, score a point. <laughs> Catherine, what did Sailor invite you to take a glass of? Champagne. That's it, score a point. <laughs> Chris, who had the smash hit with Don't Go Breaking My Heart? Don't know. Oh, it's Elton John and Kiki D. Catherine, complete the name of the group, the Mamas and the <laughs> Papas. That's it, score a point. <laughs> Come on, Stephen. Which group does Frankie Valli appear with? The Four Seasons. Great, score a point. Karen, which Liverpool club were the Beatles discovered in? Uh, the Carnival. No, it's called the Cavern. Come on, chance to catch up, Bri. Is Cat Stevens... Can <laughs> I'm going to finish it. Is Cat Stevens Canadian, Irish or English? Irish. No, he's English. <laughs> so, what's the score? The scores are, the scores are level, Linda. Is yeah, that right? Boys, boys six, girls six, but there's still time to change it later on. Right, but in the meantime, we want you to hear a really special song, especially if you're just about to get married, because it's A Funny Honeymoon by David Dundas. <laughs> Thanks very much, David Dundas. And David's brought us up to the final session of the Get It Together pop quiz. Now, who's going to walk off with the albums? The girls or the boys? Scores are dead level. We'll find out at the end of 30 seconds worth. Right, Julie, what instrument did David Dundas feature on his latest disc? No, no. Piano. No, no. Ah, come on, Russ, chance to catch up. What clothes did David Dundas feature in his first hit record? Jeans. Great, jeans. Score a point. <laughs> Dana, what do was Donny Osmond the first singer to recall Puppy Love? No. No, he wasn't. That's right. It's Paul Anker. Score a point. Yeah. Right. Was Glenn Campbell ever a member of the Beach Boys? No. Yes, he was. Oh. Sally, who was the Beatles' <laughs> bass guitarist? Um, Paul McCartney. Paul McCartney, that's it. Yeah, but we've got to, we've got to finish with a boy. We've got to finish with a boy. And this, you, who is the lead singer with The Who? Roger Daltrey. Great. Score a point. Yeah. Well, 
<laughs> so the scores are dead level at the end of the contest. And so I'm going to say that both teams are going to get album prizes. So go over to the album rack and sort yourselves out. While you're sorting yourselves out, we're going to say goodbye. Is that That's right, and right, we'll be back next Wednesday at 4.20. So don't forget to join us. We'll be there. Meanwhile, we're all going to get it together. Get it together. All together now. Let's have a good time. Put your hands together with mine. Get it together. Hey, we got a few surprises in store. Just put your head around. Satisfaction is our guarantee. Hey, get it together, all together now. Let's have a good time. Put your hands